Hey guys, how's it going? It's Unknown here, and um, welcome back to another Destiny video. In today's Destiny video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 rare shaders in Destiny, used as suggested in one of the previous videos. Again, no intro, so just pretend. Okay, fine. Number 5, the old guard. This shader was given to all year 1 guardians as a thank you from Bungie for playing the game during year 1. And also probably because damage control, because look smith. <coughs> a combination of black and grey. The shader looked pretty nice, especially since it came along with some other rewards like Sparrow and an Emblem. The shader wasn't hard to get, but the shader is rare since all of the year 2 Destiny players don't have it, and also any future Destiny players won't be able to get the shader either. Guardian, I've never seen anything like this. Number 4, Rosebright and Valentine. And I'm counting these two shaders guys as one because they were acquired from the same place. The shaders were acquired as a reward for participating in the Crimson Doubles during the Crimson Days event, a special PvP event that ran from February 9th to the 16th. The event was basically doubles plus elimination. While there wasn't anything particularly amazing about the mode, it did give you some unique rewards such as a Sugary Ghost and these two shaders, Rose Bright and Valentine. The shaders became rare since the event only went on for a week and also because a lot of players didn't even participate in the event. I only have one of the shaders, I have Rose Bright, because I didn't really play that much Crimson Doubles, so I kinda missed out on the other one. Number 3, The Infinite Link. This shader is acquired for completing the Refer Friend quest. The shader is very dark, combining black with grey, but it looks really nice. It's a rare shader since it involves you getting someone who didn't play Destiny, to buy Destiny with the Taken King and start playing. So this was proven to be difficult for some players, including me, since probably most of their friends were already playing Destiny, which was my case, and this is what made the shader so rare. And even now, you hardly see anyone with the emblem or shader from the Refrain of Friend program. Number 2, Blacksmith. The shader was acquired as a pre-order bonus for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and also was given out by Bungie on some events such as E3. The shader is a nice combination of black, yellow and grey that ends up looking pretty nice. The shader is rare because this is a promotion that happened way back at the very beginning of year 1. So there weren't as many players as there is today. And also because it's basically requiring you to buy another game to get it. I actually don't have the shader because I didn't pre-order Advanced Warfare. But it's Blue was kind enough to show me his shader since he did pre-order Advanced Warfare way back in 2014. Number 1, Prayer of Nepal. This shader was acquired by donating to Bungie's Nepal Relief Fundraiser before May 24th. After the tragic earthquake that decimated Nepal, Bungie set up a relief effort by selling t-shirts that would come with a shader and an emblem, donating all those profits from sales to those affected by the earthquake. It was only available for a very short period of time, meaning that only a small percentage of the player base actually managed to get the shader. And this is why this makes the Pair of Nepal the rarest shader in Destiny. As always guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you have any of these shaders. And if you have any suggestions for future countdowns, just leave them in the comments below. As always, I hope you have enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.